here is our beautiful succulent wine bottle kit. So if your green thumb is itching this spring, we've got a project for you. And if you like wine, it's kind of a fun project too. So if you get one of our kits, you will get a half glass wine bottle. You're going to have a piece of moss. It does shoved in the neck of the bottle to prevent the soil from leaking out. You're gonna get some soil. You're gonna get some decorative rocks to put on the soil after we've planted. And you're gonna get a choice of five succulents. So in this one, I did uh, Galaxy Blue Echeveria, Bokeri Echeveria, Universe Haworthia, Cubic Frost Echeveria, and Lime and Chili Echeveria. So for this one, I'm going to mix it up and do some different types. Okay, so let's start this project, maybe by cracking a glass of wine or smoothie or juice or something. You're going to take your bottle, put your moss in through the inside. A little moss stopper, you can even let it hang out the, the, the mouth of the bottle a bit if you want. You're going to add your soil. So this pot doesn't have drainage, so that's something to consider when you're watering because succulents don't like to be over watered. And I suppose it's got, you know, a bit of surface area for evaporation in this bottle. It's not entirely closed, but still uh, water with caution. If you're in doubt, leave it for a bit. Okay, so I put this pretty full. There are some of these plants that are a little deeper, the plugs. This won't actually fit, so I will be just taking that off the bottom. And so I'm gonna start with my taller, kind of my feature succulent. This is, a, I believe, jelly bean echeveria. So I'm gonna start that and put that in the middle. So it's just maybe like a quarter inch below the rim of the bottle. And then I'm going to grab this adorable little Haworthia zebra plant and tuck this in. And I kind of put them a bit in a zigzag uh, with five, just kind of do zig. This kind of looks a little more full and balanced. And I've got my little cubic frost echeveria. Digging a little hole for it. Gently tucking it in. You want to handle these with care and handle from the base if you can, because they break off like I just broke off, but not a disaster. You can, you can even root that leaf if you want. Then I've got a bokeri with this beautiful pink tips and blue coloring. So lots of contrast here. We've got greens, we've got stripes, we've got uh, kind of smoky blues, purples and then some green, so this is a little lime and chili. So this guy is small, so he's gonna go in the corner. This guy's got a little bit of perlite in it, so I'm gonna try and get that off. There we go. Get that perlite off. So that is what it looks like before we've added any rocks to the soil surface. And there's a couple different options. For this one, I, we decided that we were going to put in some black pebbles so you want to try to kind of use your hand as a funnel to get these rocks into place and i like to give it a generous thick layer so that the dirt doesn't show through kind of a challenge of your dexterity And then once you pour some in, you can just lightly tamp them down into the soil. That Hawaii is a bit tall. Okay. So then I'm gonna do the, so got a bit more to do on the front and the back. Oops. And it's a good idea if you're doing this at home, I like to use a cookie sheet to, uh, which I should have mentioned at the start, just to uh, keep the rocks and the soil and all that 
contained rather than on your table. And this is quite a few plants in a little container, but the good news is with succulents is they, they will sort of control their growth to fit the container. So if you don't have a big container, they're gonna grow slower. But this will be good for several months of enjoyment anyway. Okay, just about there. Some of my rocks don't wanna stay in, so. Few more here. Okay, so once that's all planted, I'm just going to give the lightest of watering in to the surface. It's fine if you get a little bit on top. Okay. Isn't this a fun container? It's so fun. That's the finished product of the second demo. So you can place this on your dining room table or a little side table, your office desk. You want to have it in bright light. It, need, it does need bright light. Make sure that it, the soil dries between waterings and otherwise enjoy.